This is a story about the time that I almost died. Such a great opening line for what many people didn't like in a movie, but I love the movie. It's fallen. Hello everybody, I am Lagoji Lopez. Lupus, the the, and right over there you see Lady Ma. Hello. Today we're talking about the movie Fallen. Okay, a lot of people had a problem with this movie because they said it was recycled, rehashed, all that other happy shit. Okay, I gotta tell everybody that said that, fuck you. I thought the movie was original. Because, you know, it's, you know, you think it's one thing, but then in the end it ends up being something completely different. Not to be confused with Monty Python's and now for something completely different. Now, you know, it's talking about this cop that's trying to figure out all this shit dealing with a serial killer. Serial killer, killer gets fried. Copycat killer comes up. That happens all the time. You know, that part, eh, kind of rehash. But when you think about it, it's all, it's all the demon Azazel. For those of you don't, that don't know Azazel, look it up, you know, open a new tab, look up Wikipedia for, for the demon. Okay, I'll wait. Okay, now you've done it. Good. So, when it comes to all that, you know, he's doing all of this stuff. And, you know, some of the plot, yeah, it lagged in a little bit. But you know what? It was pretty fucking interesting. It was the first movie I ever fell asleep in, for the record. I mean, I've watched it since then. I thought, I think it's okay now. But at the time, I was sawing logs. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> well, that's her opinion. My opinion is slightly different. Okay, majorly different. But it's that whole, there's that one scene where he's singing Time on My Side and he keeps hopping bodies. And everybody that comes by when the demon is in that body is singing the song, continuing where it left off. That's creepy, you know. That right there gets into that whole Matrix thing. I don't know if you all remember the scene in The Matrix that was released later on where they're doing the agent program and they're walking against the grain and then there's that single woman in the red dress that walks by. Morpheus says, were you looking at me? Were you paying attention or looking at the woman in the red dress? Turn around. He turns and there's an agent pointing a gun right at his head. That was awesome. I loved it. And just that thought that your enemy could be anywhere at any time. I mean, it's very paranoia. Me, I kind of dig that sort of shit. You never know who you can trust, who you can't trust. Like I said, I dug the movie. A lot of people have different ideas. Rotten Tomatoes had a field day with it. It got kind of lackluster reviews. But then again, not everything can be the Catcher in the Rye or Hellraiser or Michael Myers. You know, you can't have that caliber all the time. You got to try something new. It was a great psychological horror movie. It's not all cut and dry. It had a decent twist at the end. Because when I first watched it, I didn't know who the hell the narrator was. Until the very end. Where that little cat goes walking by at the end and it says, like I said, let me tell you about the time that I almost died. I thought that was cool. Because I was like, okay, he won, he won. Oh, what the hell was that shit? Oh, okay. Because the, narr cause, cause the voice of Azazel is the narrator. And it's got that really great voiceover. It would have been even better if it was in black and white. Because I love that noir film. That film noir feel. Because you've got... You know, it's kind of a return to Casablanca, which I loved. Uh, Sin City, which is the newer style. You know, retake on it, which I also loved. The Maltese Falcon. Awesome. 
I just love that older style movie where not everything is so much in your face. Any commentary on film noir, honey? I love film noir. I think it's awesome. Um, I like the newer film noir over the older film noir because, uh, I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of the older. Though I do like the 1940s style of dress and, and hair and, you know, back when women were still ladies, not ball busting bitches. That's the nice thing I can, nicest way I can put it. But yeah, I like film noir. It's pretty cool. I still don't like Fallen, though. Okay, she doesn't like Fallen. I like Fallen. And that's kind of, that's kind of in, a, in the end what it is. You either like the movie or you hate the movie. But either way, it'll give you something to think about. Like right now, I'm thinking, why the hell am I so dark? No, seriously, look at this. Uh, it's, You're... Because, it's because you didn't plug in the light. Oh, well. YouTube will fix it. It'll be okay. Okay. So, Fallen, check it out. You'll either love it or you'll hate it or you'll be like, eh, I can take it or leave it. Okay, it's not one of Denzel Washington's greatest movies. It's not Philadelphia. It's not A Midsummer's Night Dream. Okay, I wouldn't count that as one of his better films, babe. Hey, it's Shakespeare. It was good. Okay. Check it out if you have an inclination, if you're a Denzel Washington fan. John Goodman is also in the movie. I mean, John Goodman. He's cool. I loved him in King Ralph. So, peace out. Have a good day, y'all.